We have Scholastics, Clifford, the Big Red Dog, the Big Red Dog. Happy birthday game! So a game you can play on your birthday. And since every day is somebody's birthday, happy birthday to whoever's birthday is today. And if it is your birthday, comment down below, happy birthday. Um. Anyway, this is Rose Art Game. Clifford the Big Red Dog, the Big Red Dog, Big Red. He's a Big Red Dog. Nice little kid game about Clifford celebrating his birthday. Two to four players, five and up, five and up. Scholastic Clifford the Big Red Dog, happy birthday game. This is another TV show, just like Arthur. That, um... Still plays on PBS and um, still has they still sell Scholastic still sells books and um, it still plays on PBS and it played on PBS when I was a kid. What's up? Anyway, it's Clifford's birthday and his puppy pals are invited to a big birthday party. Players race through the neighborhood in search of the gift containing the most dog bones, but hold on to your bones. A lot can happen along the way. The player to reach the party with the most bones wins the game. So basically, what you're supposed to do is go around the board, find bones, and bring them back to Clifford. Whoever brings Clifford the most bones wins the game, y'all. So you got these little... These little... Puppy things. That one has three bones. So it's a little... This one has five bones. This one has four bones. So these are the little presents you bring them. This one has nine bones. Woo, that's a lot of bones. Open. Velcro's gotten uh, kind of old. This one has eight bones. And here's the winner bone. The winner bone. I guess. So now seven bones. So this game helps you learn how to count to ten, I guess. Two bones. Six bones. And one bone. So I guess it helps you count to ten. Just a spinner. Alright, there's rules. Like you need rules, but it's always good to have rules. <laughs> Clifford the Big Red Dog. Big Red Dog. He's a Big Red Dog. He's Clifford the Big Red Dog. You can play Rez Red. You can play as Blue. You can play as Orange. You can play as Yellow. I don't know why they made an orange and yellow. That's real close to it. Anyway, it's Clifford's big birthday and his puppy pals are searching the neighborhood for dog bone gifts to bring to Clifford's party. Of course, the more bones, the better. Players travel around the neighborhood stopping at different places, hoping to find as many bones as they can and then deliver them to the party. The object of the game is to be the first to bring the most bones to the party. Uh. The player who reaches the party with the highest number most bones wins the game. Sit in the game. Sit in the game up! We already, all the parts are already picked. Place the nine gifts in the red bag. We don't have the red bag, so we'll just have to shuffle them. Okay, nine gifts over there. We don't have the red bag. I guess this game came with a red bag. Okay, but I don't see one. Um, add arrow to the spinner. Okay, we already got spinner fit. Each player in turn spins a color, must proceed to the next space of the color. Two or more players land on the same space, that's okay. If you land on and find a gift space, you have no gift, choose one from the bag. Each gift has a point value between one and nine. Seek the peak at the gift and don't let on what you have. Keep the gift in front of you. You already have a gift. You may choose to exchange the gift you have for them. Um, for one from the bag, but be careful. You must keep the new gift, even if it turns out to be half your bones. If you land on a lost gift space, you must put the closed gift back to the bag. 
Okay. So. So basically, you start. Start. Spin. Spin the spinner. It's blue. You'd go to blue. Which is find a gift. So. Your pawn moves based on the spinner. When he finds a find a gift space, he grabs one of these. He secretly looks at it and don't tell nobody else. And you go around the neighborhood. See, you got the construction site, the soccer field, the school, the playground, the tree, the neighborhood's ha neighbor's house, the flower bed, Emily Elizabeth's house, and of course the backyard. So actually you start kind of in the backyard and run around the block, it looks like. Neighborhood block, whatever. And uh, if you get to find a gift space, these kind, you grab one of these gifts. So I guess you could put them in some kind of bag. And uh, you look at it. That's only one bone. Now, if you get a lost gift place, you got to put it back if uh, you get on a, a trade gift space you can be like you have to trade your gift with another player or you can put it back in the thing and try a different one hey I did better six goes to nine um lost gift you have to put it back yeah so that's um being Clifford the Big Red Dog, Big Red Dog, Happy Birthday Game! Scholastic's Clifford the Big Red Dog, Happy Birthday Game. It, uh, teaches counting. Now, I suppose you could play it where you can have more than one gift. And then you could, it would teach, teach adding, too. Like, uh, if, if instead of having to... If every time I got to find a gift, land on find a gift place, I could pick up more than one gift. Like, uh, and I ended up in the game, say, at the end, I got around to the end and I had, let's say, I had three, three gifts. I'll, it would keep you counting. Three, four, plus eight. Nine. Twelve. Kitch is counting because, look, three. You got the number three shows you what the number looks like. Then it shows you how much three are. So you get to count. One, two, three. One. So, uh, let's show. One, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now count backwards with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. One, two, three, four, five. Four. One, two, three, four. Three. One, two, three. Two. One, two. One. So that's Clifford. The Big Red Dog Happy Birthday Game. Teaches you counting, and and uh, it can teach math. Uh, it's early game. Uh, it uh, might get the kid interested in reading some of the Scholastic Clifford stories, which will teach reading comprehension and stuff. So it's a good educational game for really youngsters because it also, besides just teaching counting, uh, it teaches colors. Like, 
you got yellow, red, and blue, and orange colors. So it teaches color coding. Uh, as you can see, yellow, orange, blue, yellow, purple, green, yellow, blue, green are the numbers. The numbers are colored. Uh, the spaces are colored. The board is very, it's very uh, artistic. I mean, it... It's a nice little board. I mean, it teaches you a little bit of um, reading comprehension too here because as you go around the board, as the kids go around the board, they may want to read the sites that they they find, like the construction site. So, showing that will show the pictures, show men working in construction, which I've done. So, uh, that will help kids know, hey, construction. They'll learn the word construction. Uh, soccer field. Um, kids, some kids play soccer, so that helps kids learn soccer field. Um, help kids learn how to pronounce school or, and spell school. So, reading and spelling. Um, kids love to go play on the playground, so this teaches them how to pronounce playground and how to spell playground. Uh, trees are everywhere, so this teaches you how to, what a tree, tree looks like, and how to say tree, how to spell tree. Uh, the neighbor's house, that teach you the word neighbor, the word house. Flower bed teaches the word flower bed. Uh, Emily Elizabeth's house again with the house. Uh, finish and start those are good words um, to learn. And uh, of course, it teaches you all about giving. How how it's better to give than it is to receive, and. The more you give, the more you, you get back. Um, so, uh, it's a good game in that regard. So, remember that God is good all the time and that Jesus loves you. And I uh, hope you uh, like Clifford. Um, tell me your favorite character on the Clifford Show. Um, and um, comment down below. And uh, this is a great game for kids.